Hi, welcome to the Quiltography video tutorial series. First thing you'll want to do is to add new fabric. And this is dead easy. Just scroll to the fabric panel on the Quiltography menu screen and click add fabric. From here, you can add fabric from your camera roll or from your live camera by clicking on the camera icon and then the icon again. And this will let you view your, your camera roll. You can see here I've only got one photo in my library. So I'll click this and choose the image. It opens automatically in the crop window. And here we can pinch and zoom to arrange fabric as you like it. Once you've positioned it, just press add fabric. Here you can see that Quiltography automatically detects the colours in the image. In this image, it's found red, white, orange, light green and blue. And all it needs from you is a name. I'm going to call this one floral. On this screen you can add other tags. Things like category and manufacturer can be really useful for organising your stash at a later date. But we don't need them, so for now I'm just going to press save. Once you've imported some fabric, you can view it in My Stash. From here, we go back to the My Stuff panel and choose My Stash. And you'll see the fabric that we added earlier. That's this one here. You can go in and edit it, add more tags or change some tags. And you can also share it with this tray icon. And I'll let you send it by email or share it on Facebook or many other options. And we can just cancel to dismiss. In My Stash, you can sort fabric by name or by date, or you can search through your fabric to find fabric with specific tags, for example, Moda fabrics. For now, I'm going to search for blue, and Quiltography will display all the blue fabrics that I've got at the moment. I can cancel this search by pressing the cross. If you want to delete a fabric, that's easy too. Just tap and hold on one image and you'll see all the icons start to jiggle. Press the X and you'll get a warning confer just to confirm you do want to delete the icon. Press delete. And that's it. Tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the jiggling and you're all done. If you'd like to add an image that's not currently in your stash, that's all right. You can do that using the internet. If we dismiss Quiltography, and open up Safari instead. I've got a preloaded page from Robert Kaufman. And I can tap and hold on this image and save the image to my camera roll. And then when I go back into Quiltography, it's just as easy as it was before. Pressing the plus button in the top corner of my stash will allow me to add new fabric too. Although I could go back to the add fabric panel. And then as before, click on the camera icon and the camera icon again, and now I've got two saved photos. One of those is the new one. I can zoom in and out on this, but this one looks good, so I'll just add it. And name the fabric, just like before, and press save. And I'm all done. When you're adding solid fabric, sometimes it's easier to make it yourself rather than to try and find the image. For this, when you add a fabric, you choose the paintbrush icon instead of the camera and then you get this palette. From here you can see the quick colours that we've already preloaded. Hopefully they're ones that you're likely to need. But if you want anything else, you can just choose a custom colour. And you can make it lighter and darker, as you wish. Once you've found the colour you like, you can choose a dark variant or a light variant. And you can make it a plain solid colour or a linen texture. Once you've selected, just go back to Add Fabric, and as before, you can name it. That way, later on, I can search within my fabrics for solids, and they'll all come up together. Thanks for watching. Bye.